I think so, he is, but older. He's probably, as much as he's maybe not in as good shape, he's probably just naturally a little bit stronger. Yeah. So we can put that to him. Uh, I imagine he's going to come out with a heavy storm at the start. I don't know how his cardio is. Like I said, we've not seen him before. And then I imagine if he can, if Mark can, can weather that storm, he should be, he should be pretty good. Of course. John Jameson just going over the rules here. John, one of the most experienced MMA referees, uh, probably in the United Kingdom now. Um, he's been around this game a long time, multiple discipline experts, so it's, it's good to see him back in the EOC cage here. And the first of our MMA bouts tonight as well. Going for the inside low there. Both going to exchange a takedown here, they're up against the fence. Both fingers locked, this will be an easy double leg from Mark here. Yep. Just needs to pull out and down. Nice, nice yep. takedown. He's wrapped around the back there, pulled that leg back down at this kind of butterfly guard position. Sam so trying to use the cage, color punch, trying to make Makes such a difference kind of yeah. for wrestling when you've got the cage there, you know. Yeah. Nice position, but he's not in any guillotine danger. Um, no, no. He's got a nice side position. It, there's not much of a, a problem here. All he needs to do is just watch that the hands don't get connected yeah, here. Kind of the hands get connected, Sam. then yeah. it, then it becomes an issue with the, the yeah. guillotine. But other than that, he's he's pretty much fine. Yeah. Some shots being exchanged here by both guys. And you can imagine the you probably get a big adrenaline dump. Yeah. You know your first fight. What were you like in your first fight? Probably terrified. I know what I was. Yeah, well, uh, my, uh, my first fight was at a very early age. So. Oh well, well, I get. I am talking about <laughs> real combat sports here. Nice shots here from the top. Mark put good pressure on yep. against the fence. Mark can get a little bit of posture here. Yep. He'll be able to land some really nice shots. The boy's head can't go anywhere. It's stuck against, sorry, Mark's head. Sorry, yes. Sam's head can't go anywhere because it's, it's almost stuck against the, the fence or directly on the ground. He's advanced to the mount position here. If he can get some posture, really start popping off, it's going to be a really strong position. We'll be able to rain down some curies. And that skydiver position, you know, with the hooks yeah, yeah. and the feet. So um, it's good to see him there. Portion up now, this is where he can really start to look to land his strikes. Sam looking to grab on cover. Yeah. Nice shots here, nice shots here. Nice right postured up in the high mount. Yep. If he starts placing volume here, I don't think this. Quite a high mount there, so it may be difficult to get some shots off. Yeah. He's controlling the arm there, yeah. maybe looking for a key lock, I'm not really sure. There's been a lot of shoulder locks here tonight on, on these grappling matches and stuff, so it wouldn't surprise me. Interesting from Sam, still striking off the bottom. Yeah, I would. if I was Sam's corner, I would probably be advising him to, look to try and get yeah. out of this position. This could be... Controlling there and hitting. This could yeah. be... We could be looking at a... T I can't imagine there's much longer left in the round. Three rounds here. Boy's landing big shots from yeah. the bottom, though. Yeah, he's landed yeah, a couple definitely. of really Mark nice shots to watch from the bottom. Done. Not to get too complacent. I think Mark really needs to sit up right and try and get some, some strikes down through the middle instead of yeah. trying to... Yeah, he's, he's hooking Sam's everything. Well to cover with the hooks. Yeah, he's hooking everything here, which is, is quite common. As you much know. as in the, the position Sam's in right now, he's, he's kind of controlled well. He's chipping away here. He's got that Dagestani handcuff to the back. I think we're going to see this round out. I think we're going to see a first round finish here. There we go. End of round one. Comfortably, at least a 10-9 there yep. for Mark. I'm yep. not going to go and say it's a 10-8. I think. No, no. Um, I think Sam was able to work enough off his back to um, still hold a little bit of position, but but that was a that was a great round. Of course. Yep. Now, this is when we start to come into a question of conditioning. Yeah. When we come yeah. into the second round, who is the most prepared here? I think if we look physically upon appearance, you know, Mark looks the most in shape guy, but we look back to the UFC guys like Pat Barry and all yeah. that, they were never the most jacked guys in the world, but Not they had serious gas tanks to hit like a yeah. train. So I'm interested to see where we go in this second round. We're going to see a little bit of an adrenaline yeah. dump. But I think both guys with the experience levels that they've got as well, in terms of, you know, they're, they're still both novices. Um, going into the later rounds, it can't tell, of course. Yeah. Coming into a first fight at a higher level, this kid's probably had more active yeah. fight experience in the gym than most people would have going into their first yeah, amateur tough. fight. He's probably had the simulation of, of, you know, tough four, five, yeah. five, six yeah. fights by now, you know? Yeah, we'll like to see a bit more striking here. Yeah, definitely. See what both guys are up to. A double leg straight nice double. You know, the Armin guillotine could be there. 
potentially. Yep. He's, uh, he's, uh, is he, he's, he's he let go? Yeah, he has yeah. let go here. He's still got it there if he wants to lift it. Oh, jumped over there, so. it's, yeah. it's almost, unless you can get the knee shield yeah. across there and the knee across the back, which he's not trying to do, um, it's almost very difficult to finish skating from that side. Just try to step around to the back. This is a good position, by the way, because you can almost get a crucifix. Yep. You can trap that with that head against there. See, nice he can't defend on the cage himself. As well. He can't really defend himself. He's got that bottom hand and that's it. The other hand's trapped up at the fence. Good advice from the crowd there. Punch him. Yeah, yeah always you know, helps. Really good advice. Pretty much just taking a wee moment to. Yeah, for, a, for a kid so young, it's, uh, it's a mature yeah. performance. It's very easy just to go out and just go all guns blazing, just blow yourself out in, in, yeah. in two minutes. But he's Especially with the crowd involved as well. Oh, now. for sure. I think he's got quite a lot of yeah. support here as well, a lot of his friends. Really good shoulder pressure. Good shoulder pressure here. I want to see where Mark's going to progress from this position. Yeah, going to look I was for, thinking you know, that myself. He's, he's, done a lot right of mount. he's done a lot of striking on, on top, but he's not really kind of pushed for any position. He's, right he's, yeah. he's actually got that oh, arm trap yeah. He's got the arm yeah, triangle. Oh. Tapped, tapped. Excellent. Great finish. Yeah, very mature performance from Mark. And a, a very good fight still from Sam. Yeah, Sam put you know up what? a good, a, a good I was performance. In, I, I was, I was surprised. Yeah, I'll be honest, that's all yeah. I'll say is, is, I was surprised. That was a good fight. Yeah, yeah.